your left foot, your plantar fascia is not engaged. So it's, it's flat right now. In fact, the circulation is being cut off. And my grip's slipping as well. Yeah, you just don't look comfortable. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna use now the easy strap or easy stretch strap. You're gonna put your heel in that little like part and you gotta, you gotta Velcro it in. And then you got to Velcro like the top of your foot as well. Like right. Make sure it's really secure. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I want you to stretch the way you normally would stretch. Okay. Okay. So you don't look comfortable, but tell me what you're feeling right now. Oh, I feel like I'm trying to climb a rope here, to be honest with you, and that I have to choose between whether I want more flexation or if I want to get more of a stretch. I, I can't get anything more intense than going here right here at all whatsoever, and clearly my shoulders are elevated, and you can hear it in my voice. <clears throat> so you're really not happy? You're not enjoying this at all? No, why'd you make me do this? <clears throat> <laughs> well, this is what some people are buying. They're buying this for, you know, nine bucks, and or $19 and they're wondering what the difference is. So what do you think the difference is? I can't get more of a stretch than I'm doing like this. I can easily pull down and get a deeper stretch here, but now I'm either focusing on whether or not I'm gonna let go or whether or not, um, I, you know, if I wanna be more comfortable and do anything else where I'm here, it's like this and I get no real satisfaction or engagement out of it if I wanna go like up here. But this once again hurts my neck and my shoulders and they're elevated. So actually what, there's a few things that I'm noticing technically. You're, <laughs> first of all, your shoulders are completely off the off the floor or off the uh the table in this case so you don't have that sort of comfortable stress-free upper body alignment two is your hands are still using a rope it's the same thing either way you're still gripping a rope um, and you're going to be focusing on the grip which is going to feel arthritic and is going to at some point lead you to sort of give up the stretch or end it prematurely then I'm also noticing besides having to strap in twice on the same foot to get even started, your the design of this device actually doesn't really create the toe dorsiflexion because it requires you to pull um, sort of towards your face for it to work. So try to pull, you know, down towards your waist. I don't get nearly as good of a stretch if I pull it down towards my waist to get the flexion. Like I said, I was compromised between a better stretch or flexation. Okay, so you're you're saying that you're compromising either the toe dorsiflexion or the stretch. You're not going to get both. Correct. Do you think you could use something like this for 10 minutes a day? I don't want to use it for 10 seconds. Okay, so that I think is something I really wanted to show everybody is that there's a huge difference. So let me, let's just show the hands for a second. There's a huge difference between holding onto a bar that gives you complete, just hold your hand there for a second. I just wanna, yeah, so you are definitely losing circulation in your hands. Um, and that is a very stressful situation for your, for your wrist, your fingers, uh, and your hand grip. And basically that's why stretching is just not enjoyable for a lot of people. Because whether they're using this or a band or a rope, it's, it's either way, all three are still, you're holding onto a, an oversized string. He's got complete upper body balance. His shoulders are aligned. His neck is not straining. And he's tracking his stretch with his eyes. He's not using his head to look down at the stretch. Perfect.